Hey everyone here on YouTube, Lodge Pat McQuack here. And uh, since uh, Mr. McD did the uh, Power Ranger Megazord review, I thought I'd take a shot at reviewing Bumblebee. Uh, it's a pretty cool little Volkswagen here, uh, especially from the from the G1 cartoon. Uh, actually, a uh, pretty good design for the Volkswagen form there. It even rolls really well, as you can see. <laughs> Not bad as I'd say so myself. Matter of fact, it could even, and it prob and it probably has a pretty good crash record there. Mega size. Let's see if we can check. Launch pad. <laughs> oh, uh, well, I guess we um are not gonna try the crash. Okay. So uh, uh no biggie. Anyway, uh, as this uh Volkswagen form there, and um, see the undercarriage. Uh, not not a whole lot of kibble. Um. You still see the uh, robot arms a little bit holding up the back of the car, but even that's not too visible. Uh, one thing about G1 Transformers, you know, trying homing the vehicles and stuff like that, their kibble blends in pretty well there. So, uh, what do you say we uh, get to transforming the little guy? So, first up, you're going to take this right here. I'm going to take this, move this, uh, get this out of his hands here. Kind of a, okay, hold the arms down. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> you take that piece off there, set it to the side, and you got his robot arms. <laughs> now we're going to uh, kind of take it apart here. As you can see, take that. Uh, yep, kind of disassemble it a bit there. And now we're going to take these. Uh, might want to raise the camera up a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, like so. <laughs> okay, that's a little better. <laughs> so we're gonna, oh, uh, let's see, whoa. Oh, where was I? Oh, that's right. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna fold this little flap down and then bring that back up. <laughs> Connect it, you already see his uh, robot mode head there, pretty much like G1. They also use this design for uh, War on Cybertron, the War on Cybertron trilogy. The darker version of Bumblebee and the other Transformers. Uh, make sure you get his hands positioned right there. And now let's get the legs uh, together. Let's see, oh yeah, fold the wheels in. Fold those back, but that way you can, uh... oh, gotta turn this around. <laughs> My bad. So take that, kind of collapse that around the wheel. Do the same with the other. And, uh, well, there you have it. So uh, pretty simple in this uh, transformation and everything. Uh, not bad if I say so myself. Uh, you can get some pretty good hit turns out of them there. You can uh, turn his head. <laughs> Get another look at the head there because of how small this little guy is. He was pretty small in the show. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> so um you move his arms, uh full range of movements in the arms, uh he can bend them and everything. <laughs> yep, even even turn them. <laughs> turn them like so. Move them side to side. Uh good movement in the leg. Take knee joint all that articulation hmm. and as for uh and he does have some weapons here uh these uh blasters you can uh put in his uh hands yep you can fire them and everything or you can uh he can take or you can make it into one blaster which is kind of cool Kind of reminds me of those uh, blasters that the Red SPD Ranger had that could combine. Uh, I think he called them the Delta Blasters. <laughs> anyway, can uh, sort of like a scope blaster or a scope gun, something like that. And you can also take the um, this piece right here that you took off of in the car form. Uh, it's a little attachment that you roll out there. And you can stick it in his hand to form like a shield. Yep, now he has a blaster and a shield. <laughs> which is kind of cool there. 
use the back of the car to protect himself. Yeah. And if you don't want to do that, um, you can also store it back there. Um, or better yet, put it on like that. Gives a little bit of a backpack, but it's not, but it's not too bad there. Yeah. So yeah, that's two things you can do with the extra, with that extra uh, piece uh, that deattaches for his robot mode. Reattach it back there, or put it in his hand like a shield. And you can have this as two blasters or one big scope. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, that's uh, pretty much it for the Bumblebee figure. Again, a pretty good figure, um, because it's real small, and um, I think that's kind of accurate to uh, what it's like in the show. So, um, yeah, I got to give kudos for, you know, all this that you could get out of a small figure. I mean, of course, it's short and everything, but, hey, it uh, definitely does what it's supposed to do. Um, definitely pick one up uh, for your Transformers collection there and have a classic case of nostalgia. And, uh... If I uh, guess if that's all, uh, we'll see you in the next story review. Oh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, share this video with all your friends. And definitely buy some comic books and support us on Patreon. And uh, we'll see you for the next toy review as well as also uh, more updates of uh, some of our new comics that are coming out soon. And uh, we'll see you then. Take care. Oh no, the ground!